This is Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman. You're watching Groovy TV. Hey, it's Groovy. I'm here with the legendary Kevin Conroy here at the Denver Comic Con, Denver, Colorado. How the heck are you, man? Good, doing good. Good yeah. to be here. Enjoying Denver. Oh, the, there's a line out the, the, the How awesome is that? It's great. The fans here are great. But the fans for Batman in general are pretty cool. Oh, yeah, and they love you, man. I mean, you are, you are the icon, man. I'm so lucky to have stumbled into this job 22 years ago. 22 years! It's kind of like a, a record, you yeah. know? But it was just lucky. I just auditioned. It was an open audition. That is they so looking, awesome. They were looking at hundreds of people. And they just landed on me. It was just a very lucky break. It's the kind of break that actually I don't think could happen now okay. because of what they call stunt casting. Mm -hmm. You know what that is in Hollywood where they, they go for celebrities or film names to do voices now. You go to see an animated film now, it's all true film stars and television stars. They don't use voice actors anymore so much. So for someone with um, not a very high profile career to have gotten a job like this it wouldn't happen today unfortunately right uh, if, if someone were to try to break into this industry do you have any any ideas for them? that's such a hard question to answer because there are so many different ways in um, I went to Juilliard and performed on Broadway and then ended up doing theater uh, television and then did commercial voiceovers and that led to animation voiceovers. Um, I don't even know if you could do, go about it that way now. Mm -hmm. um, people, there, there are so many different ways in. The, the good thing is they're always looking for new voices. Right. There isn't a, a, a thirst for new voices. Um, the bad thing is that, as I just said, there's so much of a draw towards names now mm. that for unknowns to get in, it's gotten harder and harder. Right. But, you know, go for it. They're always looking for new people. It's just the competition is really rough now. Oh, yeah. So but before you, this gig you got 22 years ago, how into Batman and all that comic book world were you? Well, that's the irony, is because I was in L.A. doing a series. I had just done Tour of Duty, which was a Vietnam show. I played oh, the yeah. captain. I played yeah. Captain Wallace. Yeah. And then I did a sitcom with Christine Ebersol. I had just finished doing that sitcom um, called Rachel Gunn. So I was in L.A., and they said, oh, go over to Warner Brothers. They're, aud they're auditioning for this new animated show, Batman. And I said, that's not new. That's old. They said, no, it's never been done as an animated show. So I went in, and I met Bruce Tim and mm -hmm. Paul Dini and Andrea Romano, all the creators. And they said, what do you know about Batman? And I said, well, no, the Adam West 60s show, you know, from when I was a kid. And they said, no, 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 that's not it. That's not it. You know, ah. <laughs> they said, um, this is, you know, the Dark Knight. This is serious. This is right. film noir. His parents are murdered horribly when he's a child. He spends his life avenging their deaths. I said, God, that's so dark. I said, you're, you're kind of describing the Hamlet story. Yeah. And they said, Hamlet? No one said that before. And the, but that was my background. My background right. was classical theater. So I said, well, let me just use my imagination and try something different. So I kind of put myself into a place mm. emotionally where I thought the character would be. And it, my voice just went to this place and it, this sound came out. And they, as soon as they heard it, they said, you got it. <laughs> but I, they saw something like five or 600 people before oh, I got it. Wow. No, literally. Literally, this went on for months. They were looking for people. Oh, so it was just, it was just a very lucky coincidence that I happened to go in and I happened to make the right choice mm. um, because I didn't really have a lot of background in Batman. I didn't really have the, you know, when I meet the audience at these Comic Cons, it's so, in a way, humbling because they know a lot more about the history than I do. Right. And I gave life to the character. Um, I think I gave passion to the character, but that was sort of an, an actor's job. You know, I, I approached it from a purely acting perspective. Okay. A lot of the fans approach it from the whole Bible of Batman. You know, they know the whole anthology. The, they'll be able to tell you what episode number, you know, the logo changed colors, you know, that kind of stuff. And I'm like, it's humbling <laughs> to me, you know. Um, I approached it from a real actor's point of view. 
That is so awesome, man. So what's coming up next for you? What are you working on? I have a massive game you may have heard of called Arkham Knight. Have you heard of Arkham Knight? Oh, it's a small indie game, isn't it? A little indie game. It was supposed to come out in January. We've been working on it for a year and a half. It's still not done. So it's going to come out next January. But I know everyone's frustrated. The reason it's been delayed is because it's so awesome. Oh, I believe it. They've, those games have been incredible. Well, this new one is going to be... It's going to just rock your world. I mean, it's... It's massive and it's exciting, and you literally fly with Batman through Gotham. I mean, it's it's really sweet, and um, and you drive the Batmobile. I mean, you do all this stuff in this game, but um, and then I have an uh, I've been doing a lot of recordings for the Discovery Channel now. Mm. I did one called Russian Yettle that aired a couple of weeks ago that people liked, and I've got a new one coming out um, about uh, sharks. <laughs> sharks. <laughs> mystery of the deep um, and then uh, I just booked um, a new episode of Turbo okay. which is a really fun animated show and it's hysterical the character is so off the wall uh, so that's going to be a lot of fun oh I can't wait man oh, you, oh you're always busy man yeah. <laughs> awesome man thank you so much for your time good meeting you cheers it's Groovy I'm here with Kevin Conroy here at the Denver Comic Con Denver Colorado Bye.